Years of volunteer work have culminated in the reopening of the Droitwich Canal, closed since abandonment in 1939. It links the town to the Birmingham and Worcester Canal, and thence to Gloucester via the Severn. A restoration group was formed in 1969, and in July 2011, the fruits of their efforts were rewarded, and a festival in the town's park marked the reopening in style. Crowds were entertained to jazz in a marquee together with numerous stalls and exhibits. Narrowboats came in large numbers to travel the 12 kilometres of newly opened waterway. Originally, the canal mainly carried salt. Droitwich had been an important production centre for the mineral, obtained from natural brine springs since Roman times, but today it's a leisure facility enjoyed by narrowboaters and canoeists. Costs of maintenance led to the decline of the canal, which saw its last commercial traffic in 1928. Gradual deterioration led to an act of abandonment in 1939, a move clearly not supported by the local community. Restoration has cost a considerable sum, much of it raised by events like today's, but judging from the turnout, it seems the efforts of the volunteers are greatly appreciated. An adjoining stream has been cleaned too, bringing back wildlife into the heart of the park. A new generation of ducks explore under the watchful gaze of their mother. This is one canal which hasn't been killed off by the railways, which so often encroached on the same contours. Further up from the park is a well-occupied basin, shared with some canoeists who will give children a taste of the hobby. Yeah, um, have a quick with Rob, see how we're doing sort of numbers-wise or something like that. Um, Andy, you know, uh, uh, just for your information, there is a, a boat parade at 1.30. Okay. Okay. And that goes 1.30 till 2.30. Okay, yeah. But they'll be coming past here, okay? Okay, That's the problem, it's one mile an hour, you get stuck behind it. Yeah, that's right. The reason for all the health and safety gear quickly becomes apparent. Hey! Okay. Oh, there you go! They do wobble a bit. Okay, right, young man, if you could step to that seat there forward. They do wobble a bit, please. Okay, right. If you could just hold on to each other's boats for me. Narrowboat Rides 2 will be a new facility offered by the Trust, which was formed back in 1973 as a limited company to manage the restoration scheme. collection of assorted owls formed one of the exhibits on display, whilst a really good jazz band entertained visitors in a nearby tent, which also sells some very tasty alcoholic beverages. Just the thing for a sunny Sunday afternoon.
Ice cream vendors were also doing risk trade. Just after lunch, a number of narrowboats made their way from one basin to another at the town end of the park. Some were privately owned with living accommodation, others replicas of working boats. A group of dancers performed nearby for an appreciative crowd. Now here's a replica of a working boat, complete with an almost unique diesel engine of enormous proportions. Thanks for watching and farewell from Droitwich Spark.